I'm loved, belong and have purpose. I'm loved, belong and have purpose. Kid City, where you at? 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 Right here. You are right here. I'm right here. You know what's next? God is right here. Guys, I'm so excited to be here with you today. Now, before we get started with our day, you guys know what we have to do. We got our four words that we gotta say. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. I am loved, I belong, I have purpose, and I am the future! Woo! We gotta say it one more time though, are you guys ready? All right, here we go. I am loved, I belong, I have purpose, and I am the future! Oh yeah. Today, we're doing things a little bit different. We're gonna be doing story time. Can you guys say that with me? One, two, three. Story time. All right, the book we are reading is... Oh, uh, that was weird. But, uh, well, the book we are reading is The Gospel in Color. Whoa. All right, guys. Chapter one, what is race? Beginnings are important. Have you ever watched part of a movie but missed the beginning? Often it can be confusing experience as you try to figure out who is who and where the story is going. That's why beginnings are so important. They help us understand what is happening and what to expect in the future. In our lives today, many people are deeply confused because just like someone missing the start of a movie, they don't know the beginning of the story of the world. That's one of the reasons God graciously gave us the Bible, which tells us all we need to know about how things began. So when we have questions about skin color, racism, and human relationships, we first look to the Bible because the Bible shows us the true story of the world. Having a biblical view is key. The beginning of all beginnings. The Bible is made up of different books and the very first book is called Genesis, which literally means beginning. The beginning of Genesis tells us how God created the world out of nothing. By speaking light into existence, he made the heavens and the earth. On the earth, he gathered the waters together into the sea and made the dry land appear. God decorated the earth with vegetation that could reproduce all kinds of seeds, fruit, and trees. God made all these things good. God made the sun and moon, and then he made the land, animals, and sea creatures, living things which were different but all wonderful. All these creatures were fruitful and multiplied their species on the earth and in the sea. God was pleased with what he had made. Lastly, God created his crowning jewel, Adam and Eve, in his image, placing them in the Garden of Eden. God made this man and woman so that they would reproduce other stewards over his creation and carry out God's creation mandate together. No other creature could help them fulfill God's command. God was so excited about his creation that he rested to enjoy his artistry. The story of creation presents a beautiful picture of love. God cared for his creation by crafting a world that he could sustain the physical and emotional needs of humanity. The man and woman loved and trusted one another without fear. The animals and sea creatures enjoyed their habitats without territorial fighting, and it was literally all good. The truth about race. The Bible clearly tells us that God created every family from the loving relationship of the first family, Adam and Eve. According to scripture, Every human comes from this same family. And we can see that in Acts chapter 17, verse 26. Every person on earth is made in, the, in God's image and as such has a unique worth and identity. 
and all people are equal because they are all made in the image of God. Every skin color on earth points back to the first person created from the earth, Adam. Therefore, God's vision is for all colors to love one another truly as equals. The Bible rejects the idea of a special race of people who sit above other skin colors. The lie about race. But over time, some people began believing a lie about people who looked different than they did. They said that they are different types of humans and that some humans are better than others. This imaginary concept of race was developed to separate humans based on color. Unlike God's invention to have beautiful variety within his creation, this idea of race lifts up one skin color on the backs of the other colors. These racial categories make some people feel better than others, giving them a sense of superiority. New eyes. God wants to give us new eyes to see all the colors of humanity without fear or anger. Every color was made to be loved and cherished because God created all things good. You are part of God's original good creation. He created you the way you are. All human colors are special since they bear God's image. I think that's a great place for us to stop. You see, we are all made in God's image. No matter what skin color we have, we are all made in the image of God and everything God created was good, is good. Isn't that so awesome? So even though sometimes people can make us feel different or make us feel like we don't belong, we do belong. We all belong. Say it with me. Say, I belong. Ready? One, two, three. I belong. Let's pray. God, thank you for creating me. Thank you for creating me to be who I am that I belong, that I am made in your image. So though people may think I look different, I am made in the image of God, which means that I'm amazing. Thank you so much for that. Amen. Hi guys, we're gonna do a couple questions. Number one, what did God say about everything he made? Couple more seconds. That's right, he said everything he made was good. Number two, what verse did we read and remember today? I'm trying to trick you guys, let's see if you remember. Remember we read it. That's right, Genesis 1, 27. You guys are so smart. Here we go guys, number three. What did we learn? about the value of people's different skin color. Oh, I know you guys know this. Think really, really hard. Three more seconds. All right. We learned that we are all equally made in the image of God. That is just the coolest thing. We might not have the same skin color. We might not look the same, but we are all equally made because God made you, he made me, he made everyone. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Wow. You belong and I belong. And even though sometimes people can make us feel different because our skin color or we look different or whatever the case is, we are made in the image of God. You are made in the image of God. Man, some of our brothers and sisters around the world are experiencing some hurt and pain from racism so let's take a moment to pray for them together god right now we pray for our brothers and sisters that are hurting and feeling pain we ask that you can just wrap your love around them that you can protect them that you can remind them that they are made in your image that even though this world is 
a hurtful place. That our identity is in you. That we are made in your image, God. Thank you so much for sending Jesus to die on a cross for all this pain, all this hurt. We thank you for that, God. Amen. Wow. Guys, before we go, you need to remember that you are loved, that you belong, that you have purpose, and you are the future. And remember, you belong here. I'll see you guys next week. Hey. I'm loved, belong, and have purpose. I'm loved, belong, and have purpose. Kid City, where you